Today we shall reflect on the life of Saint Catherine de Ricci, born Alexandra Romolo on the 23rd of April 1522 in Florence, Italy. Saint Catherine de Ricci was the daughter of an old patrician family of bankers and merchants. Her tendency to solitary prayer was already observed in early childhood and at the age of 13 she was received into the Dominican convent of strict observance in the neighboring city of Prato where she took the name of her deceased mother. After 5 years during which she was much misunderstood and calumniated against her holiness was recognized and she was advanced to novice mistress then sub prioress and finally in 1560 to prioress which she remained until her death 30 years later her famous ecstasy of the passion which would last from thursday noon until 4 o'clock on friday afternoon began in 1542 and continued each week for 12 years when it finally ceased at her own urgent pleading for the confidence of great number of visitors among whom were three future popes was seriously disrupting the religious life at the convent during these ecstasies which have been fully authenticated catherine would witness all the stages of our lord's suffering the wounds which the savior suffered during flagellation the crowning with thorns the carrying of the cross and finally the crucifixion became visible in her body saint catherine also had the gift of miracles and is known to have held what might be termed telepathic conversation with such contemporary saints as saint philip neri in rome and saint mary magdalene de pazzi in florence neither of whom she had ever met without leaving her own convent in prato catherine de ricci died after a long illness age 68 on the 2nd of february 1590 and was canonized in the year 1746